Don't forget to talk to your microphone. I won't forget to talk to Mike. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi. Hi, Hi Rod. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm cold. I will enunciate. Uh, but I'm also excited, again. Uh, I'm not sure which video I'm going to edit first. Okay. Um, <laughs> My mini board or your mini pedal board, so... Uh, but it's mini board time. It is mini board time. Mini board and time. I'm super excited because who doesn't love to save a bit of space and in most cases, save a few bucks. Save a bit of coin. It's it's a lot of fun with your pants on. Mm. Um, last Friday, we, we had a great gig, but you had that gig where somebody pours a schooner of beer all over your pedal board. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead now. <laughs> Thankfully, all your gear survived and it kept going. This is great. That's I don't know how it did. The, the Morningstar MIDI switcher got c completely covered in beer. The Line 6 Helix got completely covered in beer and everything survived. And it took me about three hours to pull everything apart and clean it and rewire it. And, yeah, it was a nightmare. Yeah. But it, it, it leads us to this conversation. If if you're running a multi-effects board and, and something happens at the gig and that goes down, you've lost all of your tones. Everything's gone. So if you have individual pedals, one of your pedals goes down, not all is lost. Only one pedal is, and you can generally salvage the night with the rest of your gear. And we've been having some fun with mini pedals. So here we go. I've put one together as well, on a similar budget as, uh, as, as Matt. Um, but I've collected some of these pedals over, over a couple of months. Um, I've got eight pedals on the board. Yeah. Um, there's some X5, there's some Moore, um, and there's some New X. Some new X as well. Um, <clears throat> I think the first one we'll start talking about is the uh, the JCM 900 emulator, the one that's uh, on the top left, because that's um, that's an amp in a box, and we would do a range of, of amp uh, emulations. This little box has got two channels. It remembers both of your settings from the knobs on either channel, the clean or the dirty. Um, it's a JCM 900 emulation. You can set the switching um, so it'll switch either between the the channels. Let's just let's just dive into it. And it's got cab emulation. So if you hit the magic button on that, here's our clean tone. What are we running through? Uh, we're just running through the Marshall Astoria through the Wazzle Tube Amp Expander so we don't kill our ears. Dry. Let's, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> So that's the clean channel of the JCM with no cabinet emulation. If you hit the little blue button now, we'll get to the dirty channel. It giddies up and boogies. That's if great. you push that little red button and hold your finger on, it'll start to flash and that'll give us some Cabinet emulation. So that's sort of emulating a 4x12 that sits under, normally would sit under a JCM 900, and that's pretty cool. That sounds great. It's, it's bloody magic. If you hit that button again, you'll switch back to the clean channel with cabinet emulation. Uh, no, that'll switch you on and off. Switch it back on. Hold the red button, just turn it on and off. Hold it on until it flashes. There we go. And now, oh, you hold it, held it for too long. Hold oh. it on until it, oh no, is it flashing? Yeah. All right. Now, hit it again and it'll go back to the blue channel, flashing. That's the clean channel with cabinet emulation. All right. <laughs> If you hold down the big silver switch, now you've got it on. Okay, you get the foot switch will now switch between channels. That's pretty versatile, isn't it? I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they build them so cheap. I, I really don't. I don't know how they do it. If, if you needed to have a, an amp with cab sim emulator on your board to go direct in for any setup you have, and you want to try one of these, they have, a, they have a Vox version, they have boogie versions, they've got... So if you want, we'll just leave it set 
clean. Yeah, just leave it there. It's, we'll it's just leave it to it's clean with, with the cab emulation off because yeah, we're going into the Wazza tube amp expander or we're going into the, the we're master going of story. Into a cabin. Yeah, we're going into the uh, cab. We're going into a cab. Uh, right. So the Golden Brandy is the next one. We've done a full video on the Golden Brandy because it's, it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and we don't need to step on that first up, but we'll go into the blues mood, which is let's have a bit of break up. Um, <laughs> So this is my go-to for a bit of drive. If you dig in, it'll break up. If you relax and lighten off on your attack. Next to that is a green mile and, and you know, no, no guesses for what that might do. That sounds like Tom Hanks to me. Tom Hanks? Yeah, the Green Mile. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> put the blues mood before it, put them both on. all right for mine <coughs> so I'd, i would generally leave the blues mood on and then step on the green mile as my solo game stage all right they're great all right switch off the green mile and and we'll go on to the ah oh, yes okay here we go the monterey vibe now this is a new x pedal just for the record the the uh the, the moore pedals have clicky switches the new x pedals have nice soft non-clicky switches oh. they do and I, I do think the new x pedals have got a, a little edge on the engineering the knobs are bigger and they feel a bit better um, the casings are really heavy but for this particular pedal a univive a univive emulator you know <laughs> It's tap tempo as well. So now, tap away. <laughs> this sounds great. I mean, admittedly, we're, we're sitting a foot in front of a, a Marshall stack, but it's it sounds amazing. Go on, you play an old yeah. tap tempo. <laughs> Alright, if you hold the switch down, it'll go into chorus mode and the, the LED will change to a, a different colour. Flashing. Yeah. Crank up the depth on that to see how where it goes. Lots of wobble got there. Heaps. It's just got heaps and heaps. That's so, amazing. It's got a really usable chorus. It's got a really usable uni vibe in it. It's and it's lovely. and it's tap tempo. It's got a lovely vibe in it. A lovely yeah. vibe. And I shopped around for a lot of uni vibes to give, you know, and a small footprint emulator like that. Wow, it's cool. Uh, what are we going into next? Well, we'll go into the uh, the consequent right onto the left of that, which is a, a tap tempo delay with two modes. Fill about with a tap tempo. C can you just click on there? Just give me one click. This actually sounds like there's two delays in it. There is. So there's two modes to this delay. <laughs> All right. So there's a slightly more complex analog delay that gives you the da 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 thing going on. Hold your finger on that button. The LED will change color, and we get a slightly different. Oh, that was just like a straight delay. Green, yeah. So green LED. So 
So small footprint, tap tempo, delay. Soft and, switching, two modes, that's amazing. Yes, that's very cool. Where am I going to next, Rodney? I'm going to the trolley copter, the, the black one, because uh, I dig this and I've used it for a certain <gasps> certain tone. So the, the trolley copter, uh, tremolo. <laughs> And you've obviously got these dialed in where you like them because they they all sound bloody great. They just sound so good. That's 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 a really neat one, and I've used that for a particular tone for a particular um, song, and 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 driven it really fast. Whack, whack the tempo up and see what it gets to. Take it back, take it back a little bit. That's a great trim. That's neat, isn't it? It's, it's super good. Next to that, I've got the, the Re Echo uh, Moore pedal, which I use as a slap back. That's good. This has got three modes. It's got an analog delay, it's got tape delay, and it's got a digital delay. Yep. So it, it sort of functions with the top end and rolling some off, but... I use it as a slap back, because I use a slap back a lot of the time. And you'll notice that it's all mounted on a $12 breadboard. <laughs> See, I cheated with my mini board because I just stuck it on a pedal train Novo 24 that I already had, but you you went all out. I did, I you did. You painted it, you stuck an extra bit of wood under it. I did, I did. Power supply underneath, drilled yep. a few holes in it. Yep. But and it's on a breadboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're paying... I don't know what you're going to pay for the, for these retail, but you can get good deal bargains on these little pedals. And if you're wanting to have a little fly rig to go to that's got you know a number of tones, if one of them dies, it doesn't really matter. Plug it out, and you've still got you know seven useful tones on there. Turn on the Thomas Blue just to give that craziness. <laughs> Just astounded at how good these these little pedals are. They they sound really good. And you can dial in some tone. And if somebody pours a beer over one of them, <laughs> you've still got some of them left. Right. Mate, you've done well. That's a terrific little mini board. Thanks, man. Good bit of fun with the mini boards. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm impressed. So we got Mua New X X5 X5 the Golden Brownie uh, the little the little. Um, the little amp and cabinet simulator is a beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's actually brought this Marshall to life. It's actually like really sparkly and nice with that in front of it. And uh, for mine, having a, a small footprint tap tempo delay, even just in the consequent, is so good. It's so good to have that available in such a small footprint. When, yeah. real, when, when real estate on your pedal board is generally at a premium. At a super premium on mine. Yeah, yeah. Many um, pedals. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Hit the uh, subscribe button. Do us a favour. Cool. It'd be awesome. Cheers. See you, bye.